My political oratorio, Turning Points, which draws half its material from the Battle of Agincourt, started with a detective story. In 1912, Sir Hubert Parry, the man who wrote Jerusalem, composed a little song called You'll Get There. Keep on looking for the bright, bright skies. Keep on hoping that the sun will rise. Keep on singing when the whole world sighs and you'll get there in the morning. It's a splendid little tune. And that song came to mind when I began to think about the three great anniversaries of 2015, Magna Carta, Agincourt and Waterloo. And I began to think, could I bring them together as turning points in our march to democracy? Well, Magna Carta, obviously, and Waterloo, because it brought to an end the nightmare of what Napoleon Bonaparte had become, but Agincourt was more difficult. How do you present Agincourt as a stepping stone to democracy? And luckily, I spoke to Anne Curry, our Dean of Humanities here at Southampton and the great expert on Agincourt, and she showed me the speech of the Lord Chancellor to Parliament in the autumn of 1414, where he was begging for the money for Henry to go on his French adventure. And of course, the idea of asking Parliament for approval for war is very 21st century. So there was Agincourt right at the middle of my subject. And I represent Agincourt with this little march for the brass band. And then the choir turns that tune into a setting of the famous words, Fair stood the wind for France. And then King Henry V enters with the great fanfare for the Battle of Agincourt. Now, Agincourt is one of the battles that has its own tune, the Agincourt Carol, which is contemporary with the battle. Usually done as a great triumphal thing. And the piece carries on with uh, quite a long section purely about Henry V. The three solo voices set to music that uh, well-known passage, he was in his youth a diligent follower of idle practices. And then the chorus comes in with a motet, which was composed at the time in praise of Henry. So we have a bit of medieval music sung in praise of Henry, while the baritone in the character of the Lord Chancellor begs for money. And just after the battle, the poet Alain Chartier wrote The Book of the Four Ladies, in which four women bewail the fate of their lovers. One is dead, one is up for ransom, one, they don't know where he is, and the, the worst of all, the shame of the lady whose lover ran away from the battle. And so to set this to music, I've used a, a sort of broken form of the Agincourt carol, so instead of... I've gone. And it's accompanied by 
the piano in what psychologists call a fugue state, there's a lovely musical word, an obsessive state, playing the first few notes of the parry tune. And so together it comes out And so the pianos express the weary obsession of this victim of war. The last movement of Turning Points begins with the words of Thomas Charlton, an American who in 1809 said, the price of liberty is eternal vigilance. And so I then set some words from Lincoln's Gettysburg Address. And after that, we hear the Perry tune complete for the first time. And so on. And then I use musical means to show that in politics we can all work together to gain our ends. And the first way that I do that is that I combine the tune of A Man's A Man For All That with the little Agincourt march. Like this. Is therefore honest poverty that hangs his head and all that the coward slave we pass him by, we dare be poor for all that. And then after that, I add to those two melodies the original parry tune. And I don't think I've really got enough hands for that, but let's have a go. Keep on looking for the bright, bright skies Keep on hoping that the sun will rise Keep on singing when the whole world sighs And you'll get there in the morning And then everybody sings and plays together, the guitars and the organ and the brass band and the piano duet and the orchestra and the three soloists and the chorus and the children's choir, all to make as much noise as they can and you'll recognise the chords coming back from the beginning. And then we go to a, a grand conclusion. <laughs> 